Hey there guys, welcome to So So Many Things 2000 here. Um, in this video I'm going to show you exactly why you don't want to buy your child or you yourself does not want to buy a Walmart board. Yeah, sure, they're cheap, but I'm going to show you a great example of why. Now, my parents didn't know, um, so that's okay, but um, I just let my friends ride these, but you shouldn't even do that because, I mean, you just, you just don't want to. This is my very first Walmart board. I have another one, but I took it apart. Um, the trucks, as you see, are rusted. Um, oops, sorry. That's not the trucks. There it is. There's the bearing. I mean, not the bearing, uh, whatever you call it. Oh, sorry. There. You see how rusted it is. That happened with leaving it outside one night. Now, then we take a look at the wheels. Now, right, here's the wheels. Watch. Very bad bearings. Same on the side. See, rusted. Oops, sorry. Doesn't even go for two seconds. One. Those were about a second. Very bad. Yeah, now it looks decent quality. But, um, now I'm going to show you the top side of it. Sorry, guys. Alright, sorry about that. Now, here's the top side of it. As you see, grip tape very messed up. The hardware, it was, it's rusting. Um, and we take a look at the nose of the board, and you see how the grip tape has chipped up there. Not very good grip tape at all. Um, here's um, another example of why you don't want to buy your child a Walmart board. Then again, this has been used a lot of times, but... Uh, bear the mind, it's a Walmart board, you pay $10 for one, uh, 10 to $15 for one, um, so you definitely do not want to buy your child a Walmart board, um, or yourself a Walmart board, uh, people get hurt on these things, you definitely don't want to buy your child a Walmart board, um, if you flip it over on the side, you look how thick this is, very thick material, they slap this thing together, don't even want it. So, I'm going to show you my pro board, as in which I skate now. Alright, we bring it up here. Sorry. Okay, here it is. Element. Sorry about the glare, guys. Hold on. There we go. Alright. Sorry, I won't leave that glare on there too long. It's uh, the Ninja Houston series, or whatever. Um, but my trucks are very worn, so are my bearings, but at this, these bearings run at least for, uh, 10 seconds. These ones down here for 10 seconds also, um, and I'll show that to you. Well, maybe for 5 seconds for this one. I need new bearings. These were used before me. But, you look at it, nice board. Um, the trucks, yeah, they're rusted, they were used before me, but normally when you buy new trucks, they don't break unless you buy the cheap ones. Um, we flip it over. Very, very nice grip tape. You don't see any chipping or anything. Maybe a few scratches here and there. No rusted hardware. Um, and I do a lot of ollies too, so. And you see how thick the board is. Not very thick at all. Oops, sorry. There it is. So, yeah, that's just a perfect perfect example. Oops, sorry. Perfect example of why you do not want to buy your child a Walmart board. Thank you guys for watching. In the next video, I will be showing you um, basically what you want to do to buy your first pro skateboard. Thanks for watching. This is So So Many Things 2000 signing off. Night, guys.